Hello and welcome to Geo Snippets. I'm Head Hard Hat. In the next few minutes we'd like to show you some interesting tidbits and facts about the game, the sport, yes the obsession, known as geocaching. In today's episode we're going to teach you about everybody's favorite regular size container for geocaching. The ammo box. Now the great thing about ammo boxes is that they are strong, they're sturdy, they're waterproof, and they are inexpensive, which means for a small ammo box like this, only costs you about five or six dollars most. They are great when it comes to geocaching. This is a small, single handle, one lock in the front. This is a medium to large, single handle, also has one lock. This is a large, has a lock here, has a lock here. These are three main sizes that you'll find when it comes to ammo boxes. Now, one of the things that you do uh, with a small ammo box, or any ammo box for that matter, you, uh, because they are a military item, you want to get rid of these nasty identification labels that dictate that this used to once hold ammo. Yes, I know it's an ammo box, but the idea is you want to take the military aspect out. That's the main reason that you want to paint one of these. Now what you want to do uh, when painting anything, uh, this is a metal box, so what that means is it needs to be cleaned off. Sometimes you do get little bits of rust when you buy these ammo boxes. Uh, you want to scrape off the rust with uh, some fine sandpaper. Uh, you want to make sure that it is dry and clean and ready to be prepped. And that's what we're going to do next. Now when you're ready to do painting for your ammo box, there's a couple of things you need to consider. First off, when you look at the ammo box itself, this is a solid container that seals extremely well. You want to have the box, believe it or not, closed when you paint it. Let me show you why. To open up an ammo box, you lift up on the edge here, you hang on to the handle at the bottom and you pull. Now if you notice, this has an extremely tight seal for the lid. If you were to paint the inside of this up here, this is just going to scrape it off like a guillotine. So for me, and hopefully for you when you do this, the most correct way of uh, painting this is to not lock this, but to actually leave it hanging loose like that, pull this up, and we're going to spray around it. So let's begin by painting our ammo box. Now you're going to find all sorts of paints out there that will work nicely on outdoor items that are metal. You want to find something that is for at least a primer coat of a non-glossy nature. Now since this one is particular is going to be out in the woods, I found this nice forest green color. Non-glossy. Good way to start. Right, so we're going to start painting this. It's very simple. I have a green primer here that I've shaken the can for a couple of minutes. Let's begin. I've moved the lever up here a little bit for the handle so that it does a little opening so that the print spray paint can get through it. Let's start with the top. Now sometimes this is going to take more than one coat, but you can see right away how this gives a nice dark green color to it and you can see those markers going away. You got to be careful and have a good balance of not too much, not too little. Nice even coat without having it drip. Now to paint the front lock area of an ammo box, what I highly recommend is that you lift up the top and paint the back side first. That way you don't have to worry about holding the handle. Take the front handle, hold it like that. Then get the front of it. Followed by any areas that you see that has not been painted. Now all we have to do is get the back two final sides of the box. Again, this may take more than one coat, but since this is a primer, it's pretty thick. Nice even coat here. 
get all those nasty rust spots out. If it needs a second coat, by all means, give it one. Keep it as waterproof as possible. Make sure you get under the handle real good. And that's all there is to spray painting an ammo box. It's not that difficult. You take your time. With patience, you give a good, solid coat of the entire box. This is going to keep it from rusting. It's going to keep all those nasty labels that the military had on it. So it's a little more friendly for people to look at when they go into it. That's all you need to do. Now you can be perfectly happy with this nice dark forest green ammo box. It's perfectly painted, it's protected from the elements, and it'll camouflage quite nicely in a wood setting. The other thing that you need to keep in mind though is that geocachers are a tough breed. They're looking for this particular type of color. So what you want to do to make it even harder for them to find it is to add more paint in a different color to the ammo box. This will smooth it out and won't make it stand out quite as much as it is with a single color. What I suggest is by using a paint that is textured. Now what I have here is this nice dark wood-like color that'll go on top of the green. Not completely, but lightly over it to give it just a little more tone to it and make it just that much harder to see. Now what you want to keep in mind when you actually do this second coat, you don't want to cover it as thickly as you did with the primer. You just want to give it little dashes. Let me show you what I mean. After shaking your can up quite vigorously, you just lightly, see how this stuff gives a texture? It kind of gives an outer coating. Some areas you want to do heavier than others, but just lightly cover it. When this dries, it's going to have wood shavings is what it actually looks at. You can see the details of the different bits and pieces that's in the paint. This really gives a cool texture. It makes it a lot harder to find your camouflaged ammo box. So now that our ammo box has dried over an hour or so, it's time to put the label on. Now there are multiple types of labels that you can use. You can use a black magic marker. You can buy a professionally made label. They're nice and green. Very look, you know, they look wonderful. Or you can make your own. I like making my own. What I have here is an eight and a half by 11 piece of paper that I printed out in Microsoft Word. Geocache. Took out a small razor blade and cut the stencils out. Now what we're gonna do is take this, put it on our geocache, and spray paint this. Make sure that your paper's on nice and flat. When you do this, take your spray paint, give a light coat, that's all you need. Well, we hope you enjoyed this episode of Geo Snippets and come back real soon to get even more interesting tidbits and information about the game, the sport, yes, even the obsession of geocaching. In this episode, we hope that you learned the proper way to camouflage and paint ammo boxes. In this day and age, it's extremely important that you get those military markings off these boxes and make them as user-friendly as possible. This is Head Hard Hand saying we hope to see you out on the trails real soon. Bye-bye, folks.